We are here now with the new Bachelorette, JoJo Fletcher. The season premiere is just hours away, but Bachelor Nation doesn't have to wait for a sneak peek because we have one right now for all of you. So watch what happens when a surprise Bachelor shows up at the Rose Ceremony. Take a look. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. Seriously, it means the world to me. I've been in your shoes and I know how hard this is and you guys have been unbelievable. And that's what makes this part of the night really hard for me. Was it a good surprise? It was an interesting surprise. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's a good surprise for people, I think, yes. It's pretty remarkable. We were just talking, and you you say you're jet lagged because you, you've already done the finale. You've already shot it. You Everything. just can't say anything about it. I know. That's the hardest part. It's like we just kind of finished, and now it's just tight-lipped. The last time America saw you, you were heartbroken, yeah. and a lot of America alongside you. How would you describe your current mood? Um, I would say I'm really happy. I would <laughs> say, say I'm, I'm really trying happy. to get you to tell <laughs> <No>. me. <laughs> I won't fall for it. All right, no, and, and at Last Bachelor, we know that your brothers weren't too impressed with Ben. It was, it was a little tense. Uh, how did your family feel about you becoming the Bachelorette? You know what's funny? No one knows this, but my brothers actually really liked Ben. I think that they just had this weird gut feeling that it wasn't going to work out for me. Um, but coming into this, they're super excited. But at the same time, you know, your family's always going to be worried. So That's good. You have yeah. protected big yeah. brothers. That's pretty good. All right, so back to tonight's big premiere. We get to see all the entrances. <laughs> Did um, some stand out more than others? Which ones were your favorites? Um, well, I don't know if everyone remembers, but I came out wearing a unicorn mask on my season. So I took a risk, and it, and it worked out for me. Um, there was one guy who actually rode up on a real unicorn. A real unicorn? A real unicorn. Or a horse with a well, horn a horse attached with a, to it. Okay. But I like to say it's a real <laughs> unicorn. So that one was really cool. And then a lot of these guys, they took risks and it kind of worked. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you like risk takers. We have a question <laughs> for you from a fan on Twitter. This is from Haley. She's a big Bachelorette fan. She asks, what would you have done differently the first night if you could go back and do it again? Oh, gosh, that first night, honestly, was a total blur. I don't know. People don't realize, like, we film until the morning hours. You know, it's um, it's a long night. I probably wouldn't change anything that I did. I don't have any regrets except for maybe hang out with that unicorn a little longer <laughs> and take off my heels whenever I had a chance because my feet were dying that night. But other than that. Now, I... you talked tonight with three former bachelorettes. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from them? Oh, you know, each one of them had a crazy different experience. But I think overall, they just said, follow your heart, trust your gut, and know the difference between like this hot, passionate chemistry versus love. And don't get that confused. Is there anything you're nervous in this season for fans to see? Now that you've completely finished it and know exactly what happens. I think I always have those cringeworthy moments where I'm like, oh, why did you do that? But I really just stay true to who I was. So whatever I did and whatever I said, it was real. So I'm okay with that. All right. Yeah. We are looking forward to tonight. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank JoJo. You. The Bachelorette <laughs> premieres tonight at 9 Eastern right here on ABC.